Exiled Nation, we are back with another video. Skylanders Ring of Heroes has returned, and so have we. So let's get right into the first episode of this new series. In this video, we are talking about adventure mode and how to quickly progress without having to do challenges or any other content yet. This video is specifically for new players or players that have been playing for a few days already and haven't made much progress. So hopefully this video will be able to help you get that progress that you need. So uh, right off the bat, the two features that you're going to need to know about is combine and auto farm. Also on a side note, um, the auto battle speed times three is unlocked um, when you clear the normal stage 2.6. I can't really remember if it does tell you that you've unlocked it, but once you've cleared 2.6 in the normal mode, you'll be able to times three speed when you're busy grinding adventure, right? All right, so um, by now, you would have done your summons, you would have gathered a roster of Skylanders to use. In the beginning, um, you're gonna need to focus on using your max super booster units plus one healer if you don't have that many super booster units don't worry about it too much because we can combine keys to get them maximum super boosted so let me just show you uh, what I mean by super boosted uh, characters all right so if we look at um, if we look at Kaboom over here, he's got a little yellow icon right here, right? This shows you that he is super boosted to the max. What that means is that while I was busy summoning uh, for Skylanders, I got enough duplications of Kaboom in order to have him super boosted to the maximum. Since you can only have one of each character, any additional copies of that character will go into super boost, which you should already know from watching other YouTube videos and guides that that will boost your stats. That boosts your stats. That boosts your characters. It makes them stronger, right? Basically, in a nutshell. Let's not get technical. Okay. So you're gonna want to build a team um, that is super boosted. That's the first team that you're gonna be building to clear the adventure content and to farm, right? You're also gonna want to have a healer in the team all right so a healer like flash wing flash wing should be very easy to get if you summoned quite a lot um, or if you found him in your selective summons and then you know he's a really good unit he heals aoe heals another good healer which is of the premium variety is driller driller also very easy to get super boosted you pick him up if you don't have flash wing and you just work on him and you're going to be leveling him up in the adventure mode with your team they'll keep your team alive make clearing some of the harder content a lot easier as we go forward okay <clears throat> now to the adventure mode let us go to easy so what you're going to want to do is you want to clear the most difficult stage that you can i suggest the fourth island uh, which is the highland of mirrors and you're gonna run auto times 20 until your team um, is about three star. All right. So let's just show you. So you'll find auto battle there. Once you have three star a level, see you gotta get those three stars first, and then you enter it. And then you're gonna find the auto battle times 20 there. All right. So. Once you've three starred, uh, once you've evolved your units to three star, right? From doing a uh, innumerable amount of auto farms, um, then you're gonna want to clear. Go ahead and clear adventure. Okay, you're gonna want to clear the easy mode of adventure. So that means just clearing all the levels until you get to the end. Number ten, the shrine of light uh, the shrine of light is a little bit of a tricky one so you might not finish uh, with full stars but that's okay once you have cleared that first adventure mode okay you're gonna want to place guardians um, in there to 
generate resources and then you're going to move on to the normal mode and then repeat the auto farm until you have four starred your team and then you're going to proceed to clear the second island where you will then unlock the times three speed and then you're going to repeat auto farm until you've maxed your units to four star maximum level right so that should be i think level 50 if i'm not mistaken level 50 level 60 i think it's level 60 yes level 60 should be the right level but we'll confirm right so in the adventure place right here you'll see this little this little icon here that says uh guardians you're gonna want to go into that and it's gonna show you this little shield sign um before you place any guardians in there it will have a little plus right and you're simply gonna click into there and just say auto place all right and then it's gonna put one of your skylanders in there and that is going to generate resources over time so you'll see over here it's gonna give you gold uh, it's gonna give you experience potions um, for both the summoner and the skylanders right and then once it's maxed out you're just gonna collect the reward and as you can see there we go 39,000 gold no problem press ok you just got free gold didn't have to do nothing for that right cool um, let me just go into the normal mode and then show you a little bit of a, a little bit of this all right so I'm gonna go into there I'm gonna go into enter like I said once you've cleared 2.6 you're gonna get access to your times 3 uh, which will just speed up your runs just a little bit more right so as you can see I have times 3 speed there times 2 is what you start with until you clear 2.6 and then times 3 just makes things a little bit faster okay so once we have now gotten our team to four star right you can clear the second island like we already said you're gonna unlock your time three speed right and then you're gonna just rinse and repeat the auto farm until you've, you've uh, maxed everything out okay once you've maxed everything out then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our inventory and then we're gonna start combining resources to make five star units okay at this point it's gonna take a very long time for you to level up your units so that uh, to or to level up your units from 60 to 70 even from 55 to 60 is gonna take a really long time a lot of auto farming right so in order to speed it up a little bit right you're gonna to want to use your eon dust and you're gonna to want to use your experience potions just to speed that up because it is gonna take a very long time for you to get there right um, <clears throat> I wouldn't suggest using experience potions um, to boost the the lower level guys because it's kind of redundant but from level 55 to 60 once you have just farmed and gotten to that level you should have enough experience potions in the bag that you can just get from 55 to 60 just using potions on about three of your units and then you're gonna grind out the the, 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 the last one right or you can also use uh, the Aeon Dust pick up some of the the, the, the mid-level experience potions and just max out from there as you can see the the maximum level for four star is actually level 60 so from 55 to 60 is where it gets really difficult as you see my igniter is only level 56 uh in the normal stages you get plus 500 experience so it, it, it really does take a while to get them maxed out to 60. so use your experience potions from 55 to 60 and that should expediate all of that right and once you five star your units it takes even longer just to get one level all right okay cool so let me just take you to the combinations right there so we go to inventory all right and by this stage you will have gathered quite a lot of resources so if if, if you need to super boost your units right you're going to be combining keys right so you'll see which key um, your Skylanders need in order to super boost right and then you will use the keys of the lesser rarity right to combine and become that key that you need for the super boost you generally need 10 per, per one super boost so you'll just be combining there. same 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 thing works with skill ups right your premium units are going to be using the green skill ups for premium 
your rare units are going to be using the rare skill ups. Obviously, your heroics are going to be using the heroic skill ups, and your legendaries are going to be using legendary skill ups. So, basically, what does this mean? This means that if you have legendary units, right, it's going to be much harder for you to skill them up and to super boost them because these keys take a lot of resources in order to combine the number that you need so in order to get 10 golden keys or legendary keys you're gonna need a lot of green a lot of blue and a lot of purple to make up 10 all right because let's just see here in order to combine right so you need three of these blue keys to make one purple key right and same thing happens here you need four purple keys to make one legendary key so it's 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 a long thing right uh, even with the evolutions, obviously, if you have premium, they're going to use this. If you have mid, they're going to use this. If you have heroic, they're going to use this. But as you evolve into the higher stars, it's going to also upgrade the type of um, evolution splendor that you need. So combining these is going to become a very important uh, and fast way of actually getting those stars on your Skylanders okay so in the next video uh, we'll be looking at you know how to improve your units uh, more efficiently before we focus on things like equipment and challenge farming today's video was just to show you guys how to get your guys uh, get your units to that five star um, super quickly um, you can do all of this in about less than 24 hours by using this method it's just literally just sitting in auto farming and auto farming and just gathering resources and then using those resources to come do the evolution you have your evolutions you click you're gonna have um, a lot of resources for awakening you're just gonna click awaken and then when you need the higher levels of whatever resource you're just going to combine them no problem so uh, if this video has helped you please don't forget to subscribe like hit the notification uh, for the new skylander content as it drops and uh, till the next time see you guys later exile squad